Hi Foodtube, I'm Tommy Myers and I'm passionate about spice and Mexican food and today I'm going to be cooking pea and mint quesadillas with the perfect homemade Mexican tortilla, just the type of street food snack you'll find in the markets all over Mexico. So first of all I'm going to make my tortillas. I've got a bowl here with some plain strong flour and in it goes some lard. Now lard really makes a difference to the flavour of these flour tortillas. But of course if you don't like lard you can always use butter or shortening. So I'm just rubbing in the lard and you know lard is a real mainstay of Mexican food. So this is just like breadcrumbs as you can see and all I'm going to do is add a pinch of salt and once you've made tortillas for the first time you realise how easy they are and you almost never go back to buying them again. So there we are, lovely breadcrumbs. I'm going to make a well in the middle, lovely and pour in my water, in it goes. And then just with a fork, I'm just going to work in that water into the dough, gather it up and once it's worked in, I'm going to turn this out onto my board, onto my work surface, so I can give it a proper good go. And you basically want to knead this until it's nice and smooth and supple. So there we are, I've got a lovely ball of dough. So that dough needs to rest now. I'm going to cover it with a damp tea towel. And while that's resting, I'm going to make the pea and mint filling. So my filling is a deliciously summery pea, mint and feta mix. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some fat in my pan and sweat off my shallots. So I've got a bit of butter. In it goes. And a slick of olive oil. So in go those shallots, two shallots finely chopped. Now you don't want the heat on too high because you want to sweat your shallots and just soften them down without colouring them. So while those are sweating, I'm going to pick my mint. So for me, there's nothing that says summer more than pea and mint. There we are. And now I'm just going to roughly chop it. Oh, and that is just smelling of summer to me. So I've got that mint chopped away. I'm going to grab a chilli. So now this filling has got a little bit of chilli in, but it's not actually that hot. I'm going to chop this chilli in half. Now, of course, if you don't want too much heat, just take out the seeds. So that chilli is going to go into my shallots. There it goes. And now I'm going to season those up with some salt and pepper. Nice pinch of salt. You don't need too much salt because you've got your feta going in, which is naturally salty. And some pepper. There we are. And now that that's all sweated down, I'm going to throw in my peas. There we are. That's enough. Stir those around. I'm going to throw my mint in. So now my peas are in the pan, I'm just going to give them a rough mash. Now if you don't want to ruin your non-stick pan, make sure you've got a Teflon coated thing or put it in a bowl. And I'm literally just going to just squish them down a bit. I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to add in my feta. So this feta is as close to a Mexican fresh cheese as you can get and it gives a lovely saltiness to the flavour of the peas and a lovely freshness. The Mexicans love a fresh cheese. So there we are, I'm just going to stir it through so it slightly melts into the peas and that is my filling. All I need to do to sharpen up those flavours is a squeeze of fresh lime and lime is one of my favourites, it's so good. Stir that in. Now you just need to taste to check the seasoning. Mm. Fresh, summery, citrus, the saltiness of the cheese, that's perfect. Now all I need to do is make my tortillas. Now look at that dough, it's so lovely and silky smooth. That is going to make delicious tortillas. So I'm going to just take out a kind of walnut size knob. So just going to roll this out. So we're going to roll these out as thin as we possibly can. So the thinner they are, the more flavour it's going to be come through from the filling. Look at that. Lovely, papery thin. And that's kind of what you want. 
You want to be able to almost see through it. So my pan's been heating up, it's nice and hot. I've got a special pan here, but obviously you can just use a frying pan. And I'm going to put my tortilla on first. I'm going to brush this pan with a little bit of oil. There we are, it's non-stick already. Just the merest hint of oil. And on goes that tortilla. Lovely. And this pan is a bit like a comal. In Mexico they call them comals, and they're these lovely circular metal plates that go over these big open fires and they taste absolutely great. So essentially I'm just going to cook this tortilla until it really bubbles up and then I'm going to just flip it. There we are. And look at that, it just looks delicious. It's going to taste really, really great. Literally all this now is assembly. I'm going to get some cheese on it. There we are. And just going to ladle on some of those peas. There we are. And then all I need to do is just fold him over. There's my quesadilla already. You can't have a quesadilla without your favourite salsa. I've got some scotch bonnet or habanero salsa here. I'm just going to cut him open and this is a proper authentic Mexican quesadilla with that homemade tortilla, just lovely, bit of sauce on top and it goes, mm. So that is it, a summery pea and mint filling for the perfect tortilla, great quesadillas. If you like it, click on the thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Hi guys, Jamie here. If you want an amazing drink to go with this dish, then simply click the link and head over to Drinks Tube. We've got loads of beautiful stuff for you.